A frantic search for clues tonight after a bomb scare spree intended to terrorize at least six packages delivered to locations, including the homes of Bill and Hillary Clinton, the Obamas, CNN's New York office, Democratic billionaire George Soros, Congresswoman Maxine Waters and Debbie Wasserman Schultz. And today that cloud is hanging over the Texas campaign trail. Kevin Reese brings us the messages from some of the most high profile races in the state. You need to be free to make your decisions about education, about health care, about your future. When Senator Ted Cruz and his statewide campaign bus tour stopped at Gillies in Dallas this morning, neither he nor Senator John Cornyn traveling with him talked to the crowd about the suspicious packages surfacing in New York and D.C. These are deeply, deeply troubling occurrences, and, and I, violence is never okay. But in interviews afterward with News 8, both agreed to talk about it and their own dismay at the devices seemingly targeting Democrats and the media. On its face, those appear to be terrorist acts. I hope that the terrorist who sent them is, is caught, is prosecuted, and is put away in jail for a long, long time. This is not the way we resolve our differences in America. And uh, I think it's frightening a lot of people, and understandably so. The same questions were following Cruz's opponent, Beto O'Rourke, at campaign stops in Austin. This from his own Facebook Live feed. I, I think that the country in my lifetime has never been more divided, really concerned um, for, for every public servant, um, regardless of party or position they hold. Federal and state officials are trying to find a link between and the source of the suspicious devices so far targeting liberal billionaire George Soros, the New York home of Bill and Hillary Clinton, the D.C. home of President Obama, and the New York offices of CNN, which forced a mass evacuation of the Time Warner Center. Packages with dangerous potential and today severe political distraction. I, I don't think anybody is safe, um, unfortunately, because um, um, once tactics like this are resorted to, then I think they have a way of spreading. And listen, we're in a divided time, a polarized time, mm -hmm. with a lot of anger. That's not good for our country. I, I, I hope everyone just just counts to 10 and calms down a little bit. A difficult task with federal agents now searching for a would-be bomber and their political motivation. Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News. Now, we reached out to local politicians as well as the Republican and Democratic parties in North Texas. None of them have received any threat.